Hi, we're here today at Primeline Products and we're going to show you how we screen with fiberglass screen wire. Let's start off by showing you the tools that we're going to use to screen with. We're going to use our P7908 2 inch flat roller, our P8058 nylon ball bearing screening tool, our P8059 steel wheel ball bearing screening tool, we're going to use our P8062 screen shears, and we'll use a everyday common utility knife. And now I'm going to show you our screen jig. Our screen jig consists of a 42 inch stationary end bar, an 84 inch stationary side bar, a 28 inch floating bar, a 30 inch floating bar, and then we also have a 58 inch floating bar for longer screens. Along with that comes 12 3 quarter inch screen clips. Now we're ready to place our screen frame in the screen jig. Each bar has three clips on it. On a small window screen you could use one clip in the center. I always keep all my clips on the screen jig. That way they're handy and you're ready to go no matter what size of screen you have. So let's place our screen frame up on the jig. Move the two outer ones towards the outside edge and always place the center one in the center of your screen frame. The purpose of this is to prevent hourglassing while screening the screen. Now we're ready to place our screen wire. And now we're ready to screen. We're going to take the spline push it down with our finger and thumb, hold the flat roller right on top of it, come down to this end holding the spline and we're going to put pressure on it and just roll that spline in setting it. Now we'll take the convex wheel of either your nylon or your steel screening tool on the outside edge between the spline and the screen frame and we're going to put pressure to set it the rest of the way. Let's just come around the corner be sure to leave enough spline so that you can get it all the way down in the corner. Once again, using your thumb and forefinger. At this point, I'll usually roll my screen just off the end of the frame. And now, once again, hold down with your thumb. You're holding the screen from moving, but you're holding the spline at the same time. Put pressure down and just come down to the end. You're not stretching the spline. It'll stretch itself as you go along. Set the spline. At this point, I like to trim away my wire on the outside edge of the jig. You can use that as a straight edge so you get a nice straight edge to use your wire on your next screen. Once again, come around the corner. Push down with your finger and thumb. This time we're just going to pull on the screen wire just ever so slightly to get it up off the table. We're not trying to pull it real tight, just slightly. So let's Come down here, keep moving along with it. And then once again, convex wheel on the outside edge. Now we're going to continue going down to the far end. So now we're on our last side. So once again, I'm going to pull just a little bit to get that screen wire up off the table, put a little tension on it, but not much, and roll down to the corner. Now we'll take our convex wheel one more time and roll down to the side. Take your shears and let's trim that spline so it doesn't overlap onto the other piece of spline. Go ahead and roll down your screen spline. Now we can take a screwdriver and set the corners. Now we're ready to trim off the excess screen wire. Take a utility knife and about a 45 degree angle right above where you rolled in the spline, run your knife down to trim off the excess. Now that you've trimmed off the excess screen, 
you're finished. Your screen's completed. Thank you for watching. You can find these and many more window and screen repair products in our backroom catalog, part number ZZ75, available on primeline.net.